Hello, what's up guys? It's your guy Promzu once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're talking about the new requirement to getting the German passport. If you are an international student here in Germany or an immigrant in Germany, then you've definitely heard about the news concerning the requirement for German passport. We are going to talk about that in this video. So if you're ready for this video, stay tuned. Welcome back guys once again. So my name is Promzu. I'm a Ghanaian based in Germany, currently pursuing my master's. And on my channel, I give tips like this to international students who are looking to travel outside their country or come to Germany for their masters. So if you like content like this, you should definitely consider subscribing and joining the community. So like I said, some new reforms have, are being made concerning the requirement of getting the German passport. So previously, there were certain requirements immigrants had to meet before they could get the German passport. And getting the German passport come with some benefits that can be compared to having a PR or other types of official documentation. So getting the German passport is a very big step or a very big thing for immigrants here in Germany. And the requirement to getting the passport are being reformed or being changed by the current government. So one of the main requirements is the duration, how long you should be in Germany legally to be able to apply for the visa. So previously it was eight years. You have to be in Germany legally for eight years before you could apply for the German passport. Or if you've integrated into the German community, that is having higher level of German, that's B1 and above, you could get or you could apply for your passport after six years. And this duration is being changed or it's most likely to change since the current government has submitted a bill to the parliament from eight years to five years and if you've been able to integrate it into the German community, you are most likely or you'll be able to apply for your passport after. Three. These reforms are being done in order to attract a lot of immigrants to come to Germany because there's a huge gap of vacancy when it comes to skilled workers in Germany. Not only is the duration to the passport that has been changed or is most likely to be changed or reformed, but the country is also seeking to introduce the green card system into their economy or their country, their system. One other thing that will be changing if this bill is passed at the parliament is dual citizenship. Currently, if you are not an EU member or you are not from Switzerland, you are not able to get the German passport and keep your home nationality passport or your home nationality or your first nationality. That means if you are from Ghana, Canada, with USA, Nigeria or any, any other country and you are wanting to get the German passport, you have to revoke your old nationality and get the German passport. This reform too is going to allow foreigners or immigrants in Germany to have dual citizenship. That means you can get a German pass and also keep your home passport. Okay, so the last one is about German babies. So if you've been living in Germany legally for five years and more, if this bill is being passed and you give birth, your son will automatically get the German citizenship. Previously, that wasn't the case because if you are not a citizen, the two of you are not citizens and you give birth, your son is definitely also not a citizen. But with this new reform, if you give birth and the two of you are foreigners but you've been here legally for five years and above, your son or your daughter automatically get a German pass or German citizenship. Mind you, all these are bills that have been presented to the parliament and have not been passed as law yet, but we are keeping our fingers crossed because, because in Germany, when they send it to the parliament, it's most likely to be passed and we are hoping that these reforms or these bills are being passed as law and if they go through, I'll be the first person to inform you. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. I hope you find this video very educative and informative. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and put a nice comment in the comment section below. Like always, the name is Promzi, and I'm signing out. Peace.